All right, I just started recording. Hello, YouTube. If you're watching this, Falcon Winter Soldier, uh, fucking reactions review spoilers ahead. Uh, just finished the episode. Holy shit! Okay, now I now we can talk, guys. Oh my god, Peggy is rolling over in her grave. Dragon said, "Wait, hold up. Just realized something. What'd you realize?" Uh, Thunderbolts is stuff that they've been teasing. Yeah, that's gonna come at some point. Yeah, but, like, I I was expecting and hoping at the end just some sort of, like, some sort of movie, like, tie-in and credits, like, you know, end credits of WandaVision was very Doctor Strange, too, like, very clearly, right? You know what I mean? Like, Cap went back in time to be with Peggy. Is she Cap's daughter? Uh, was she all... No, she's Cap's... Or, she... No, I mean, she's not anything... <laughs> But she was Peggy's um, niece. Is it, Cap basically made a... Well, the whole... D Dragons, weren't you the one that told me the whole theory about how the, like... How Marvel broke their own rules with time travel? Of that if Cap went back like that, he should have made an alternate timeline. But there he is at the end. So I guess he didn't. Like you're you're the one who who broke my brain with that, you know. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, can we talk about how perfect the reveal for the suit was? Like they teased it like two or three times. Like here the fuck he is. He's flying. He's fucking flying. You see that shit? And then like the fucking shield through the window was the perfect way. Like, oh my god, it was awesome perfect fucking way to reveal that it was so good he shouldn't have been in this timeline but he was because it fucks with everything yeah yeah i already knew what it looked like but seeing it well i mean no one knew what it looked like unless you found some leaks or there are leaks i knew about because of course we all knew what the comic suit looked like but it's comics <laughs> they did i mean even from the comic suit it's a little bit different it is pretty close it's pretty close for sure. The toys were leaked. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. I I'm I'm just I'm so I have so many thoughts, but mostly I'm just happy. Okay, how do we how do we feel overall? Like let's look at this one scene that I'm about to talk about critically. The words that were said and the actual dialogue itself and the writing was incredible. Melty, I think you, you're probably going to guess. But like, was it not weird and a little cheesy of, of the timing of Falcon's speech and where that took place? Just, here's a dead girl fucking terrorism just happened but like let's have this moment here right now in the street you know what i mean that's all like i said the writing of it and what was actually said was awesome and and legitimately was so well written and so good but like like i don't think any of that was cheesy but it was very like yeah, the cameras of, like, the news people are catching it, you know? It was very... I don't want to say self-indulgent DCEU, because, God, no. Not even close. Not even anywhere close. But, like, a little bit in the same... I want to say cheesy, but that's not exactly the right word. Out of place. I don't know. Also, he didn't... Uh... If he didn't, they wouldn't would have continued the vote though. Oh, that's fair. Did she didn't she say that she was going to that they were going to continue the vote? I need to take a drink of water. My throat is dying. I'm pretty sure they she said that they were about to go do that, and that's probably what launched him into that. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. I wish I maybe could have harped on that a little bit more before that, but goddamn. 
Well, yeah, I mean, that's, I think that was the whole point, Garrett, and I think the whole point was to show the world of the new Captain America, too, the whole news cameras and all that, that was, that's definitely, that was definitely, like, the point of it, but it just felt very, like, like, phase one Marvel, or, or, like, a little tiny bit DCU or something like that. The moment he called himself Captain America felt so right. Um, I will say, I was, like, looking, I was saying something, or I looked away for, like, a second or something like that when he did say it for the first time, so I didn't actually get, it, ex I wasn't, like, paying full attention when he said it the first time. Because he said it very quickly, right? Like, when, basically, when he first came in. so many fucking i i think they did it so fucking well i mean they they very clearly specifically set it up so that he would have so many moments in front of people to be like here the fuck he is you know what i mean like they they did that on purpose like the the moment where he saved the people out of the fucking helicopter and literally bounced the helicopter off the goddamn shield and like everybody cheered like that was purposeful like that is to set up fucking here he is captain america it was awesome yeah dude the the whole like countdown and you're gonna take the wheel was fucking incredible the whole the moment where he he does the oh man it's so it's so comic booky but he like threw the shield through and then like boosted himself it was a whole oh my god oh my god it was great holy shit so good oh my god and then uh oh i'm trying to think i'm trying to think of like my favorite moments cuz there were just so many I really liked, I'm jumping all over the place, but I'm going off of my notes. I really, I'm trying to think of my favorite. Um, I had it a second ago, my favorite moment from the speech. There was like one line that I thought was real. Oh, I, the, the moment where he was like, where he started saying like, I'm a black man wearing the stars and stripes. Right. And then he, he was like, even right now I can feel it. I was like, Oh, so good oh my god that was incredible that line dude and that that whole bit holy shit oh my god yeah and then when he did he bounced the shit when as soon as he dropped in and he was there right like bucky had been taking care of it even john had been taking care of it a little bit right but like he dropped in immediately fucking shield bounced off four people it's the same obvious evil government thing. Maybe Hill Hydra time. Well, I mean Val is Val has Val's a whole thing. I don't I don't really have too many thoughts on her. There's a lot of shit that they could do with her because of her comic book uh, counterpart, and they probably will. But who knows when? So I'm just kind of like, all right, we'll see where when it plays out. Um, but yeah, I love that John came in with his fucking steel shield. And immediately Carly kicked it the fuck away. I was like, oh, it's so good, so good, so good. I don't know. I think she's going to be helping with the Thunderbolts. That's what it seems like they're setting up. But she's also been Madame Hydra before. She's been like Nick Fury's girlfriend, I believe, at one point. Like, she's been a shit ton of things in the comics. So you never fucking know. But. That's a whole thing. Um, uh, I really liked at the end I was trying to I wanted to mention that moment in the speech because that moment in the speech was fucking incredible and then as he's walking away I love the buck he was like nice job Cap like that was awesome and then uh, and then I almost teared up with uh, like when he went to see Isaiah and he was like uh, it was like a black Captain America and the way dude fucking Anthony Mackie dude fucking killed it this episode But the way Anthony Mackie was like Damn right like oh So good. It was awesome. And then um, oh, I'm just trying to think of like good moments. I mean the literally the The fight scene with Carly where he's like I'm not going to fight you like 
That was the most Steve Rogers ass thing, dude. So good. Let's see. I was hoping to see old Steve sipping margaritas with Fury on the what on the old on the planet up there or whatever the fuck. Oh my god. But we don't get Taskmaster versus Captain America. I mean, you can. I don't. Would we finally get a Taskmaster? Well, Task isn't. No, I'm thinking of. No, yeah, isn't Taskmaster supposed to be the main villain in Black Widow? Am I crazy? You going to do this for Black Widow? Black Widow's a movie, not a show. So probably not, but maybe. Uh, yeah, yeah, Taskmaster is like in, yeah, I mean, there's trailer footage of him. I don't know anything about Black Widow. Yeah, dude, Taskmaster's in Black Widow, and there's, like, trailer footage of him. <gasps> yeah. But they're putting it on Disney+. Plus. I know, but it's still a movie. It's still a two-hour thing. You know? It still might. Yeah, he, I, I'm remembering now, because it fucking released, like, a year ago. There's footage of him and, like... I'm not, I'm not going to spoil it in case you're trying to go in blind, but there's, like, some cool shit. Um, I'm trying to think. Taking, I'm probably gonna rewatch. Like literally, when I finish this um, this recording and the stream, I'm probably gonna go back and rewatch a couple of scenes before I go to sleep. The scene at the end of taking Isaiah Bradley into the, like um, I don't know, the museum like room. I I a hundred I I legitimately cried. <laughs> Like, I, I actually teared up. There is footage of it. 100%. Oh, my God. Like, yeah. I I actually teared up. That was really fucking good. Those are most of my notes. I didn't really have too much because I was just so fucking engrossed. The action was incredible. It went on for so goddamn long. And it was awesome. It was... It was... It was genuinely like i think the action in this episode was genuinely like movie quality like after watching um captain america and the winter soldier um the original movie like it's it was like movie quality oh my god holy shit anything else anybody have any final thoughts i'll end the video recording here oh what are some of your favorite parts what are any any other awesome bits that you guys wouldn't want to throw out everything i wanted then some hell yeah sharon being the power broker was probably the weakest thread i completely agree completely agree power broker shit not worth it not worth six episodes of oh the power broker oh the power broker's not gonna be happy oh five episodes i guess only to like set something up in the end. Like it's just, it's a setup, which is fine. But like, I don't necessarily care. You know what I mean? Like maybe I should, maybe I'm supposed to, but like, uh, okay. Like she's got access to government. Like she didn't even really show anything that was super fucking evil. Like, she sold art to criminals, like, to, oh, okay, I don't know, like, I don't, yeah. It's definitely gonna be something cool in the future, but that's why I was kind of bummed about the end credits. Like, overall, I, legitimately, I'm kind of bummed about the end credits. I wish there was something really kind of teasing the future, but, like, it's kind of a cheat because the whole show, like WandaVision is very much its own thing. And then the end was like, here, here's how we're going forward with Doctor Strange show. Like this whole show, all six episodes is like, here's how we're going forward in the universe. You know what I mean? Like this whole show is like Falcon becoming Captain America is how you're going forward. You know what I mean? So it's like, I guess I'm kind of expecting a little bit too much, but. Yeah, I don't even know with what movie or project that could connect to. Yup. Like, looking at the movie slate and even the show slate when it comes to um, Sharon and all that. Like, and even even Val. That's why I'm so like, eh. 
like Val and John Walker and all them. When the fuck are they going to come in? Ever? If, if ever? Like, where do they slot into any of these goddamn movies? Like, I don't, I don't know. When we get Modoc and AIM, hey man, play Square Enix's Avengers, you'll get that. Also, hey, it's Black Falcon. No, it's not. It's Captain America, Melty. Feige can pull a Civil War. Uh, and just switch it around, I guess. But, like, who would care? <laughs> who would care, though? Like, we... Uh... I don't know. I really fucking liked it, dude. This takes place six months after Endgame. That's fair. Yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, I'm going to wrap up the recording, dude. Thank you guys so much wa for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, normally I'd pimp where we normally do this, but it's over. It's over. Maybe we'll be doing it for Loki. But uh, come follow twitch.tv slash Teddy Chineris. We live stream 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. Uh, pretty much every night. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching and bye.